Do this to make the perfect button in Scratch. I'm gonna delete Scratchy and make my own button. I'm going to click, 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 double click to delete, double click to delete, double click to delete, double click to delete. Now I'm going to do no color, no color, and draw a box around it. So it just fixes a bit of a bug issue up here. I'm going to center it and I'm going to add a text. I'll just call it button. Now I'm going to duplicate it. I'm gonna change the button to a nice white in the background to a nice bright color. And same with the outside to a white. I'm gonna add a blank background just so you can see that actual white on the screen. And so now that we have this button here, we can do some coding. I'm just gonna rename my button because why not? And now when a green flag clicked forever, if else, touching mouse pointer then, set size to, I'm gonna drag this size right here, divided by, and minus, I'm gonna do size minus 100, divided by two, this in here, right click duplicate, and I should actually change this to a 500, 600, that might be a bit too big, so I'll go with 300 and 400, and now, as you can see, if we hover over it, it's really, really bouncy and jittery, and now the more you change this percent, so let's change it to four, the smoother it gets, but also the smaller it gets, so then you might want to increase the size but I'm gonna change it to two because I like it bouncy. And I'm gonna get times, timer, 150, drag the abs, and I'm gonna change it into sin of that in there, times five plus 90. Now if I put this into a point up here and you up here, as you'll see, it starts to rotate really smoothly. Now I'm gonna change this to like, let's go two, just to make it a bit slower, and we'll do 100 to make it go less fast and a bit more just unnoticeableness. And then, since I made the second costume, if touching mouse pointer, then change the costume to else, change the costume one. So now, if I go into it, it has this really cool transition effect. But we're not stopping there. I have one more thing I need to do. Right click duplicate, get rid of all that except for this. And instead of point and direction, we're going to do set Y. And I'm going to drag it all in there. I put this to zero, change this to five and 300. And I might as well just change it to two since that's a bit too big. Now, as you can see, we have it floating up and down and it looks super, super cool. I'm going to control C, control V, drag it about down here, go to back and set the fill to a black or a bit of a gray and the outline to nothing. And if I extend this a little bit, you can see that we have a bit of a shadow. Might as well just make it a little bit lighter. Now we have a 3D looking button. Like and subscribe for more.